What's going on, there, friends? My name is mp 3 and welcome back to another episode of Super Mario World on the All Stars. We're all up last time. We got through the Donut Plains, which is World Two, and then this part's we are here in World Three, which is the Donut, which is the Vanilla Dome. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and take it on. Starting off with the Ghost House. Uh, now, uh, so uh, Ghost House is well. Let's let's well let's let's just first say that uh, since this is the first introduction to Ghost Houses in a Mario game, Ghost Houses are supposedly like the trickiest levels to go through because there's all, all these like your first intention would be to, to like there's like these all sorts of like there's multiple paths and like one of them and like only one of them is the correct answer uh, otherwise if you take the wrong path then you're then you're sent back then you're sent backwards and it's and it's kind of it's a pain in the butt uh, but um yeah uh, so that's uh, that's what ghost houses are, tip in a typical Mario game. In addition to that, if you're going for 100%, then um, then uh, most most of the time ghost houses will have secret exits. Uh, but uh, thankfully, in this game, this uh, this this is this is one out of two ghost houses. That does not have a secret exit. So all you gotta do is find the real exit, which is which is right here, and then, uh, and then and and then beat the level. Now, um, the door that you saw me pass over contained uh, will actually set you back at the halfway point of the level, which uh, sucks. So don't take that door at all. Okay. Anyway, uh, so uh, Vanilla Dome Three, Vanilla Dome Three uh, has uh, whoa. Okay. So Vanilla Dome Three. Oh man, it's a pretty tough level, um, especially in speedruns. As I mentioned before, I've, I've I've watched many Super Mario World speedruns, and I like watching Super Mario World speedruns. And every time, like, they would get to this level. Oh my goodness, it's so scary because like. They do whatever they can to fly over, fly and skip and skip riding this moat, or well, whatever whatever this thing is, the boat the boat ride, and uh, oh man, it's so it's it's so nerve nerve wracking to watch. It's so stressful to watch to even to even like watch, um, but uh, I I mean I guess like. I guess with with enough practice and consistency, like it's not as hard. I guess I, I, I it's, it's not as hard, but I mean, uh, well, it's a very, it's still a very hard level, especially uh, like at least to learn it in a in a speed running point of view. So yeah, it's uh, <laughs> but uh, since this is a let's play, we're taking things slowly here. All right. Uh, that's a cape there if you want if you want it. All right, so I'm gonna get rid of this. Oh, oh, okay. And over here is Yoshi. By the way, you just saw me pick up a lunar moon uh, of uh, of the level. That's the one lunar moon of the world. And as I mentioned before, every world um, has one lunar moon, and you can't just farm off of them. You only get them once in the game. You only get each of them once. So that's 21 lives you could you could easily get in the game. Oh, that's one thing I probably didn't mention. Lives are pretty much useless in this game because if you reset the game, then you not only lose all your power-ups, but you also well, all your stats reset including your lives. Your lives reset back to 5. So you can't so if you're uh well, it's, uh, well, getting up to 99 lives is pretty hard, but, uh, thankfully, in this game, there's a very easy, there are very, there are re plenty of easy ways to get 1-ups in this game, so I don't think, so you shouldn't really be too concerned with lives at all, even, even, even for a bat, even for a, like, a not-so-good player, that a not-so-good player shouldn't even be concerned with lives either, because this game, this game has so many opportunities to get 1-ups. Uh, get uh, losing Yoshi there is not a big deal because oh wow that was uh okay, that's that's actually bad luck there the bullet the way the bullets shoot at is kind of random 
That that kind of sucks. Uh, but yeah, I'm getting checkpoints, uh, and checkpoints aren't usually good if you're getting all the dragon coins. Um, but anyway, uh, this is the reason why you don't want, why um, losing Yoshi isn't a big deal because you can't beat if you're if you're getting all the dragon coins in this level, then you can't beat this level with Yoshi at all. Um, and the reason why is coming up pretty soon. It's that part right there. So. As I mentioned already, Yoshi's hitbox is three tiles tall. When you're running on Yoshi, he's, uh, his hip, uh, then, you, then your hitbox is three tiles tall. Uh, if you're ducking, then you're only two tiles tall. So unfortunately, that's uh, so you can't like. So there's no way to fit to to fit yourself through that with Yoshi, which sucks. But that's just the way it is. So that's one of the levels where. Um, you can't just beat the entire, where you can't just go through the entire game with Yoshi. Uh, three de the Vanilla Dome 2 is another level that you can't beat with Yoshi at all, either. <laughs> Except I didn't mention that. At all. Because I, because that was very irrelevant at the time. Alright. So, we, uh, we now have Lemmy's Castle. Alright, so anyway, anyway, um, I was in the middle of talking about checkpoints before I was before I went and talked about something else. Oh god, okay. Thank, thank goodness I saved this block right here, because this block right here, this block contains a cape. So that way I could, so getting hit right there wasn't, wasn't that big of a deal! Suck it! Oh my god, I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, the Magic Koopa spawn at random, uh, so that kind of sucks. Alright, so, go inside this door is a sa- is a, is a safety. Not only is it a safety, but it's faster. Um, otherwise the normal path... Uh, it's kind of- it, it, I don't even- I, I don't even remember what the normal path looks like, but it sucks! That's what- that's- that- uh, I know that for sure. Um, and you miss out on the checkpoint for taking the normal path. So if you die in this part, then sucks to be you. Because, yeah. Alright. Uh, so this part is actually easier with the cape. Because you have these dry bones. And you could easily kill them with the cape. Alright, now we're going to talk about checkpoints here. So, um... The checkpoints. Um, no, if you're going for all the dragon coins, it's not a good idea to get checkpoints at all. And the reason for that is because if you die, then you lose every single dragon coin. And in some situations, where if you got the halfway point, that could be really, really bad. Uh, because you would be wasting a lot of time. Because if you can't go back to get the previous dragon coins, then you're pretty much screwed, and you would have to play level twice in order to get in order to reclaim all the drag in order to reclaim the dragon coins. And that could be a and that could be a big problem if you're if we're hard levels. So um, back in, back when I did Super Mario Advance 2, um, I skipped over a ton of checkpoints in the case in the case of that happening. So that's just. Uh, but I mean, since this game doesn't really doesn't really count doesn't really keep track of dragon coins for 100% completion. I, well, getting a checkpoint isn't really the end of the world for, for me. Okay, so now we're on World 4. Now, the normal path for World 4, well, taking the normal path makes World 4 to be the, sh the shortest world in the whole game. And I'm not kidding. It's, it is really, it is really fast. So, um, that's pretty cool. Alright, um, okay. This is actually getting all the dragon coins in this level is kind of is kind of tricky. Oh boy, I believe the next dragon coin is uh, down here. <laughs> so you have to avoid all these saws. Uh, and oh, this could be bad. Oh my goodness! All right, yeah, I'm gonna get hit there. That's fine because there's another cape coming up. Uh. All right, I'm probably just gonna. What's more worth doing at this point? Um, screw it. Okay, here we go. Let's try this. 
This is stupid. I don't even know. All right, whatever. All right, there was a dragon coin that I just that I just missed, but that's fine. Now you know where that dragon coin is. Uh, I did attempt for it at my uh, back when I did Super Mario Advance too. Okay. Oh my goodness. I am thinking about this, about doing something really stupid. I'm gonna try it. All right. You guys are gonna hate me. I'm gonna be quiet for a second here. Yeah! Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh my goodness, no way. No freaking way. I, that's like, so unheard of. I can't even believe I even went for that. That's, that is so hard to do. Uh, so the normal way of doing that is uh, getting Yoshi and be super mean to him. Jump down under the goal and then and then jump out of jump off of Yoshi at the right moment So that's the normal way to, of doing that but If you do not have a K if you do not have Yoshi Then you have to do that stupid strat that I just that I just demonstrated Oh my goodness, and yeah, I don't believe me you don't you don't want to do that that's not even that's not a safe strat to do at all it's it's so stupid hard but because i was a retard i went for it and it ended, it ended up paying off so whatever oh i was oh coming up here was totally useless all right i uh, thought there was a dragon coin in, in that spot but i guess i was wrong okay it's all right. I think I think the last dragon coins are actually coming up though, so we're just gonna just continue. Woo! Okay. Yeah, you can kill you can kill Monty moles when they're as they're coming out of the ground. Okay, I know where the last dragon coin is. All right. If you get two of these pink ber pink berries here, we have this cloud, and eventually that cloud will will drop out a one up after get after all those coins. But uh, whatever. All right, I'm not gonna pick up that cape. I actually want to have a fire flower uh, for. Um, I actually want to have a fire flower for the uh, castle, and most people might figure out why. So. All right, all right, some more bonus games here. Ooh. Oh, oh my goodness! Wow. Okay. Wow. Okay. Okay. Dang, I was on a streak for eight, but uh, that sucks. Dude, the next one I want to get is this um. Bonus game is eight lives, but unfortunately, that requires uh, you to be really lucky and real and have really precise timing. So that's not that's not happening, unfortunately. Okay, so this level, oh man, this is one of the worst levels in the game. I am actually gonna be safe and act, and and use this fire flower. Oh. Oh, well, shoot. Well, that sucks. Alright, even though I said I want to keep my Fire Flower for the castle, uh, I also, at the same time, want to keep my cape. So, and I'd rather have the cape than, than the Fire Flower. So, I'm just gonna just use the Fire Flower as a potential safety. Um, so, by the way, you can actually swim underneath the whole level and not worry about these torpedoes at all. In fact, let me uh, go ahead and no, I'm not gonna. Actually, no, I'm not gonna demonstrate that. It's too risky at this point since I've already committed to the normal path uh, so far in this level. Plus, uh, I would be missing out on these dragon coins. Oh boy! All right, there we go. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh my god, what the heck, man? Oh my god. Get in there! Okay. Wow. Alright then. 
All right, <laughs> we're good. We're all good. So that was so that was Soda Jungle or no Soda Lake. Soda Jungle's uh, New Super Mario Bros. U level. Uh, yeah. All right, that's the only Soda level. Um, all right, so that takes us to Star World. And at this point of a speed run, that's this is the point to do it. But uh, for the sake of the let's play, it's just to make just to do things in order. We're going to be doing. We're just gonna just go through all the worlds and then save the special worlds for last. In fact, I did that like I already did that two times already. We'll do it a third time because uh, whatever. I guess. By the way, this uh, world is called. By the way, World Four is called Twin Bridges for the re for the reason that there are two bridges in this world. Uh, so the first path is the intended path, and then this path right here is the like the so-called secret path, where you have uh, well, you're in, you're now in Butter Bridge. There's a bunch of food names in um, in World Four. I mean, you, I mean you have the Cheese Bridge area where the bridge is like super cheesy. Eh, <laughs> get it, get it, ha ha ha. And then the second level is Cookie Mountain, and then the secret level is uh, Soda Lake. Because that lake was had, was filled with so much so much grape soda or something like that. I don't I, I don't even know. Wow. Okay. Oh my God. Okay. Well, actually, that's that's okay. There's a there's a cape coming up. So. Uh, oh well. Man. I'm man. I'm just getting hit at the at the like right times. I I I would I would assume because uh, I don't know. Because like every time I get hit, it's like oh well well there's a power up coming up. So whatever. It's not a big deal. <laughs> wow! By the way, that drink, the way I got that dragon coin was really scary. Uh, that I, I made that I made that look easy, but that's really not easy. All right, see, there we go. Okay, not, not, it's like it's a it's as if it never happened, right? Okay, there we go. There's a one up right there, and then and then there's a like a bunch of like coin blocks in this pat in this like area if you want a lot of coins, but. You have no time to get these coins, even though it's an auto scroller. You you don't have all this, you don't have the time to get all of them. Like seriously. Aha! You fooled ya. Okay. So that 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 was the end of the first Butter Bridge level. But a Butter Bridge, our our Butter Br the, There are two levels in Butter Bridge, and uh, these levels aren't these levels aren't something to play around with. Uh, these levels are actually pretty hard. This auto scroller as, as uh, relax as as it as it was there. That's not that's not even easy. So <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. I believe there are giant coins in this level. I don't. Oh yeah. Okay. Yes, there is. All right. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Hey. 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 Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. Oh. 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 Okay, <laughs> that was really scary. <laughs> that, that part, that going through that part was was really 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 scary. Okay, I'm just gonna get, just get, grab this checkpoint because whatever. <laughs> okay. Oh boy. All right, so coming at, so somewhere on the long line. There, there we go. Here's Yoshi. I'm gonna pick, I'm gonna pick him up and then go into this pipe. And by the way, Yoshi will make one of the dragon coins look pretty easy. Otherwise, otherwise you're gonna, you're gonna have to do something pretty stupid if you do not have Yoshi to get one of the dragon coins. I probably might not go for it just for, because I because I haven't done it in a while because I haven't gotten that dragon coin in a while. But we'll see what happens. All right, so it's coming up right uh, around now, I think. Oh, okay, here it is. I'm, I'm alive still. Wow. Wait, I missed a dragon coin. Oh right, I know where one of them is. Okay, I've, okay, the, okay. One of the dragon coins. You're supposed to fly for it, and I t and I totally forgot about it. Okay, whatever. Uh, you want to know where that dragon coin is? I showed it off in Mario Advance too. There's a there's a whole playlist ba uh, regarding that, regarding uh, my Mario Advance 2 Let's Play. So. Yeah. But thankfully, it's not a Lunar Dragons playthrough like like it was for like it kind of was for Super Mario Advance 2. Except I didn't show off all the moons at all for that for that one. Woo! Okay, close one. 
there's a mushroom there if you want it, but I'm not gonna pick it up. This part right here is is, is pretty dumb to go through with the cape. Um, it's possible, but um, you don't wanna. You you have the potential to fly into the ceiling, and it kind of sucks if you if if that happens. Oh god. Ah! Okay. <laughs> we made it. We made it. It's not a big deal. Uh, there's a checkpoint uh, if you go if you go uh, over to the other side. But oh my god, I almost got hit. That could have been bad. That could have been bad. All right, fire flower time. All right, here we go. I'm taking out the boss. The boss is Ludwig von Koopa. Here we go. One, two, three, boom. All right. <laughs> that was the, that was the hardest boss in the game. All right, and with that. I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Super Mario World. We completed two worlds in this episode. We completed World Three, and we, uh, which is the Vanilla Dome, and then now we completed World Four, which is the Twin Bridges. Uh, so we're making really good progress with this game. Well, then, well, then again, to be fair, uh, back back when I did Super Mario Advance Two, I did one world per video. So that explains why I've been why I've been. Uh, going a little more quickly in the, with this game well well and and for the reason that some levels have dragon coins some levels do not and i'm not as focused at for picking up dragon coins but it's but it's all right we're, we're all here to have fun okay actually you know what before i end off the episode i'm gonna meet you guys at world one okay we're back at world one all right all right so now that i have the cape i'm gonna actually show you guys something real quick um this is all right. So I'm so I'm gonna fly through this level, you know, because because you know we are. I've already shown you guys what the level looks like, so I think it's okay for me to fly through this level. But at a certain point, there is going to be something if I can find it. There it is. Look at that, Lunar Moon. See that? And that is at this point right here, where you where you see the shell, and the one up. You guys know where, you, you guys know where this part. Ugh, you guys know where this part is, right? It's a little bit past the ha it's a little bit past the halfway point. Okay, that's it. That's that's all I wanted to show you. There's there's the lunar moon uh, of World One. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. And next time we're gonna be taking on World Five, the Force of Illusion.